Hi guys, welcome back for another video. After my braided uh, super scarf video, uh, I had a, a lot of a yarn left over, so I thought, well, why not complement the scarf with a nice beanie? Uh, so today it's going to be a ribbed beanie tutorial. Uh, it's uh, going to be a, quite a chunky one, really, which is nice. So again, this yarn is by Woolcraft, and it's called Pebble Chunky. Uh, it's for number 6mm crochet hook and we today we are going to use a number five just so our stitches are a little bit closer together right so i've gone ahead and started and i have chained 40. i'll get this uh, yarn out of my way now so you want to chain 40 and then single crochet all the way back so what you can do is you're going to go into the first into the first one here and pop in a single crochet and just work all the way back your chain. To get a, a good uh, idea on how, uh, how long you need to make your hat, because it's made in a square is this one, or a rectangle, if you place the end of your chain onto the tip of your nose and then bring the other end of your chain up towards the crown of your head, that's normally a good indication on size. Right, so I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to bore everybody, but just work into each chain with a single crochet and I will be back in a second. Right, so I've got all the way across the uh, row here, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chain one and turn my work. So for this row, what we're going to do is we're going to work in half double crochet. Um, I'm, I do use American terms, so I apologise if uh, other people don't. So a half double crochet, yarn over, go into this first back loop only. Hope you, hope you can see this uh, wherever you are. So into the back loop only on the first stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So again, yarn over, go through the back loop only, yarn over again, pull through all three. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this on every single stitch. As you can see, working those back loops until I reach my very last stitch where, again, you're going to work into your back loop. So I'm going to do this off camera and then I will be back. Right, so just coming up on the end of my row here, I've just got maybe two left. So the last one can be a little tricky to see. So if you turn your work, you can just see the, uh, the V there. So that's where your stitch is going into. Just try to do this so you can see. And then what we're going to do is just chain one and you're going to turn your work again. So for the next round I'll just carry straight on, don't need to uh, pause or anything. We are, For this round we are going to do one single crochet in the back loops of every single stitch across this row. So this is, this is basically how this uh, pattern goes. Um, it's, it's the same two rows, so you have one row of single crochets to one row of half double crochets and working in the back loops only for ev each and every single row. So what we're going to do is we are going to continue until it is about 20 inches long uh, because what we're going to do is uh, since my head circumference is 23 inches I just want maybe an inch or two smaller than that so when it stretches uh, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing there. So when it stretches, it just fits nice and snug without being too big or without being too small. So I'm going to continue off camera. Uh, keep stitching, working on your rows. One single crochet in each uh, back loop. And then the next one would be one half double crochet in the back loops only. So I will see you then. Bye. Right guys, so moving on to the next part of video. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have a, a big rectangle at the moment. Trying to get all this in shot is impossible. If it does go a little bit uh, wonky on one side, but the other side's all right, that's fine. Uh, don't, don't worry too much about that because this is gonna be gathered to make the top of our hat. 
Right, so this is uh, this is the right side. Uh, so this is the side that I want uh, facing uh, outwards uh, when I wear my hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and turn and fold it in half. So I have now have this over uh, the wrong side on the uh, outside uh, for the next part. So when when I stretch this out, it, it goes to about 23, 24 inches, which is perfect. Um, as long as you're not stretching it to capacity, uh, where it can't stretch anymore, because you still want it to be comfortable. Uh, so if it feels like it's going to be a little bit too small, add an extra row. And always make sure you finish on a sing uh, on a half double crochet row, because we're connecting it to singles on this side. So I'm just going to fold this over, and I am going to do an, a slip stitch a slip stitch join all the way down here. So just one slip stitch in each stitch, and this will close up. Yes, seem nice. So I'm just going through both loops, both stitches. Not really doing anything fancy on this. So what I will do is I'll do a couple more on camera and then I'll finish it off camera just so it cuts video time down because, yeah, it doesn't need to be a lengthy video for this. Right, so I'm going to do this off camera and then I will be back to show you what we do next. Right, so now I've done my slip stitch join on here. I'll just get this out of the way. So this is actually my seam there, which blends in pretty well. So when we turn it the right way, it's uh, you can't really see it. Right, so what I want to do now is uh, you can either f finish off uh, here and just weave, uh, weave in and out uh, to close your hat, but I'll show you a little uh, trick which I think works much nicer. So what we're going to do is in the top of each ridge we're going to just put one single crochet. So I want to go this way. So I'm going to chain one Move this out of the way, and in this, uh, in the top of this row, I'm just going to pop in one single crochet. Now, what I always find if you push your finger underneath your work and push these two loops together, you can really just get get them as tight as you can. So again, in the t in the top stitch of each ridge, one single crochet. And you do this all the way around until you get back to the beginning and then I will see you there. Right, so I'm just about to do my last stitch. Just one last stitch in this uh, quite thick bit to go into, but hey, it'll be alright. So I'm just going to slip stitch to join. Making sure you don't uh, accidentally drag through your stitches. Oh, that's a, a lot to get through. Bear with me. That will do. Nope. I'll just pop it in there, it would be fine. And then, if it will let me. Yay! There we go. And then I'm going to pull out not uh, not too much uh, excess, but just a good amount of uh, tail to continue sewing with. Right, so I'm just going to get my little trusty head model. It's a, a nice uh, skull lamp. No idea where I got it from, I can't remember. But it just, it just helps uh, with the next part, so I'm just going to pop this on. And as you can see, we still have a big hole in the top of its head. So, with a darning needle, what we're going to do is finish closing up this hat. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each single crochet I've just made. And I'm going in the same direction. 
So I'm going from the outside to the inside, going through both loops of each stitch until I get maybe quarter way round. So I will do all this on camera whilst I chat here. I always find that if you go too far around and put a tug on it, you either risk snapping your yarn or it doesn't gather quite as evenly. I, uh, I recommend that if you're using a yarn what's a bit more fragile, uh, close off your project like you would normally close anything off and get some slightly thicker yarn of the same colour or similar and uh, tie it on and do the exact same process what we're doing but with, a diff with something a little bit stronger. But since it's a chunky yarn I'm using today, I've got every confidence that it ain't going to snap. Right, so I've got about, about a quarter way around and I'm just going to give that a little tug and carry on. So I'm just going from outside to inside through both loops of that single crochet round what we put on the top of our hat. I always find that that single crochet uh, also just helps gather it in a little bit more even so you don't quite have as much in your way uh, to contend with. As you, as, you, as you can see, that hole's getting smaller and smaller. The more stitches we put in. So I'm nearly back at the beginning, but I'm just going to carry on until I, I can't do any more. Because it will only... Uh, let you do so many stitches around. So I think this last one I'm just about hit my limit with how much I can fit into one tiny little space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath and it kind of creates like a really hard ridge here where the end of my uh, tapestry needle is. So I'm just going to push up and push through. Mind your fingers when you do this because uh, you don't want to hurt yourself. And then I'm going to jump over to here and I'm going to do the same, go directly across under that ridge and give it a good tug and I'm just going to do this a few times because uh, it's just going to uh, close that tiny little hole and it's going to give you a good spot to then put a pom-pom uh, on the top of your hat if you want to use a pom-pom me, I'm not going to put one on here uh, I don't generally like them for myself, but if you like them, go for it. This will look really nice with a like a, a really light grey or even a bright red, a bright red pom pom, or you know, it all depends what colour colours you're using and what colours you like. Just going to thread this through and do a couple of slip knots. And that will do to secure. Now I've done, I'm not going to set this right off at the knot. I'm, I'm just going to leave uh, a, a little a little excess there, as you can see. Right, so that's this hat tutorial finished. Uh, all you need to do now is finish finish weaving in your ends. Oh, you might nice. That was really warm, and it's even enough to uh, go wear this beanie with a nice brim if you want want to wear a brim. So yeah. Until next time, I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe uh, here on my channel. And I will see you again soon. Bye.